Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here in Florida where we're covering the National Defense Industrial Association's annual SOFIC Conference and Trade Show, a leading uh, gathering of special operators from all around the world, including the companies that serve them. Our coverage here is sponsored by FLIR, and we are here at Parasim uh, talking to uh, Russ Lesink, a uh, former United States ma uh, Marine uh, and uh, Naval Academy graduate uh, as well. We did a little bit of uh, parachuting, recon, and zodiac boating in your uh, in your day. And uh, t talk to us about the really really cool uh, simulator here for people who aren't particularly inclined to jump out of airplanes. This seems to be a really really great way of uh, you know getting the experience, but also very very important training. Yeah, it's a virtual reality trainer where it still gets your heart running. You got the adrenaline, you got sweaty palms, and you can practice all the emergency procedures without. Get it right on the ground before you're up in the air trying to do it. And uh, you guys uh, have been around for a little while. You've been uh, in business for for 20 years. There were a couple of hundred uh, of these uh, simulators. I also I also like the fan. There's a great fan that gives you that total airflow feeling, uh, uh, that wind in your face feeling. Uh, talk to us a little bit about you know the strategy going forward. You know you now have a nice installed base. What do you guys? You know why are you guys here at at Suffolk? Yeah, this year we're launching uh, DBS3 by Bohemia Interactive. And it basically, we can now load up the top secret scenes without having to coordinate with the civilian world like me. They have their own developers using our secret box. They can uh, rehearse a uh, top secret scene 100 times every which way and have it right on mission day. And um, how, you know, there is, what's the secret sauce in making a system like this work and work eff effectively and efficiently? Because at the end of the day, you want the best user experience. So what are the things and the thinking and, you know, even some of the secret sauce that goes into doing this and doing it right in a way that for a military, highly demanding, op and look, I mean, this is highly demanding whether in the civil, civilian world, but particularly so in a military environment. Absolutely, the visual uh, has to be exactly like the real, the real thing. The handle location has to be exact. You can't have any negative training. So we also have the dynamics, so that we coordinate with the parachute manufacturers. The dynamics are accurate. The shoots look accurate. We now partner with VBS for the modeling. So we we got the full package for visual dynamics and modeling now. And um, and we just we just saw uh, part of the shoot responding, uh, you know, sort of catching off guard. The the guy who probably has not done a lot of parachuting as he's plunging toward the ground at a fairly deep. Well, later goes past 700 feet. Uh, what are what are some of the inputs that you can put in? Whether it's for crosswind, for complications, for riser unfouling, you know, all of those things go through your mind. You know, I always love military briefings where they're putting you through it. Yeah, you know, cut this, this, and this line, but make sure you don't cut too many so you don't collapse the chute. You know, that's going to you know, for for a lot of people, will be the first time when they're you know a passenger in the back seat and God forbid they've got to get out of an airplane. Talk to us a little bit about how you introduce the uncertainty and get that training in a very positive way because again, you don't want to reinforce bad training where somebody's life is literally hanging in the balance. Yeah, so we took it from a safety trainer and now we're taking it to a mission planner. So they can look at the map, this train map, figure out their downwind base final for that final flight in. And so now they can plan ahead and then rehearse that. And also it has uh, 14 different malfunctions and you're pulling the real your muscle memory um, all the way down to landing, proper timing of the flare, so preventing those broken ankles. And uh, he dropped relatively gently, um, but having been through other perhaps somewhat <laughs> less sophisticated simulators, I recall hitting the ground more like a 100-pound sack of potatoes, or, or maybe even a heavier sack of potatoes than that. Talk to us, you know, do, did you dumb it down a little bit for the crowd here when they fall, you know, do that last little bit? Uh, we do have a PLF option where you can drop them at gravity, but we also don't want to hurt people in the trainer. We feel, you know, you got the wind tunnel, you practice that. You want to do PLFs, hey, you got a sandbox over there. This is for canopy control, malfunctions, me muscle memory, and mission planning. So we don't want to hurt people in the sim. Fantastic. Have you thought about a commercial application of this so that people can set it up in their basement and just like practice jumping? Because there are a lot of people, folks who really, really love doing it and they, you know, I, c I could see you actually having a bit of a market for that. Well, I did partner with the dark side. Uh, a West Point grad has approached me and uh, we're looking at putting one up uh, around a very famous football team stadium. <laughs> um, I, I, when are you going to reveal that, Russ? Uh, probably after we beat them in the Army-Navy football game. But uh, yeah, it's uh, going to be live uh, June of 19. 
Um, and it's funny that you should say that because we have a tendency of asking Service Academy grads for this. So as a class of 98, if, if I recall correctly, uh, as class of 98, you're pretty confident that you think Navy's going to take it back after Army's had it for the last two years? That's the plan, yeah. Otherwise, my simulator is not going to say the right wording at the end of the, the year. The West Point guy, we got a little bet going, so <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty confident. Great. Uh, listen, thanks very much, Russ. Best of luck to you guys. Thanks very much. Really, really neat uh, what, what you guys are doing. And, and it, it actually ma makes me attracted enough to actually want to consider jumping out of an airplane. All right. This is why it's here. Thanks very much.